Hello party boys and party girls, today we will explore a way on how we can lead the player through the level using audio to a amazing party. It's gonna be a good rave. So put on your headphones, you will be listening to a couple of left-right things and also a couple of seconds of this beautiful spooky atmosphere. Let's go. Well, alright. Let's explore the environment. There's some music over here. Where is it? Okay, it's this direction. Okay, what's going on? Oh damn, this sounds heavy. Yeah, we have found the rave, everybody. Boys and girls, we have found the party. So let's see how this works. Technically. The music blueprint is just spawning some music at specific time. It's spawning a specific sound cue. And let's check out the sound cue. The sound cue itself is just playing the music. It's a loop that I made and it has a box attenuation. Uh, and also it's playing in 2D because reasons. I want the sound to be like 2D when you're inside here. Let's continue checking out the sound cue. The sound cue has a source effect applied to it because I wanted to distort the music, so it's using a wave shaper, you know, for that dirty distorted feel. The music is going through a submix, which adds reverb to it. Why this way? Because I wanted a high wet level and some other parameters just for that music sound, okay? The next thing is it's also sending to a source bus. And this source bus is the way how we will position baits into the environment. Important in this case, or in my case, is that its virtualization mode is set to play when silent so that the music always plays. And let's see what these source buses do. Through the level I have put a couple of source buses. Basically it's the music sending to the source bus and then if I put the source bus somewhere the music will be coming from that location. So we use source buses with a cone attenuation setting and it's actually a lot of work to balance these things, okay? So when you go through here, you know, you want the sound to transition to this one and the first one has to kind of go away. So yeah, it's a lot of tweaking, but it can work pretty well. Let's check out the source bus because there's also stuff going on. I mean, we, you cannot just play the music just like outside. You have to apply some effects on it. So let's see what we applied here. We have applied some filtering, so we're filtering out the high frequencies, typical inside music heard from outside effect. I'm using some distortion because I want to dirty that sound even more. And I'm using a filter to kill the high frequencies of the distortion, you know, just to tame them a little bit. It's not too aggressive. Then the source bus gets sent through a submix, which again uh, adds some reverb to it, some outsiderish reverb. And it's also cutting some low frequencies from the whole mix because I don't want the bass sound to be full frequency, you know, I want to reserve the low bass for the music. So it's pretty cool. The music gets played, sent all over the source buses and we can lead the player with audio. Where's that rave? Yeah! Alright guys, I hope you like this. If you enjoyed it, share the content, share the love. Because I want to build up this channel to be focused on Unreal Engine and sound design. So help me do that stuff and we will get a lot of fun together. Bye bye guys, enjoy your day!